Hello, family in Christ. Today we continue again with the wisdom of God, and we're going to we're going to look at um, despair. And perhaps some of us are in uh, despair at the moment, but I'd like to say that the key to overcoming despair is the promise of God. And um, I'd like Gail to to read some scripture now. There's quite a lot that she's going to be reading today, but uh, uh, what more can uh, can we get uh, than from Scripture and the promise of God? So read this and just 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 uh, take this in and and understand and know that God is there for you. He's there for us. Hello, family in Christ. Uh, we read from Psalm twenty-seven, verses thirteen and fourteen. I'm expecting the Lord to rescue me again, so that once again. I will see his goodness to me here in the land of the living. Don't be impatient. Wait for the Lord and he will come and save you. Be brave, stout-hearted and courageous. Yes, wait and he will help you. So our girls looking for the next uh, piece of scripture. This is just saying to us that, listen, God is there for us. God is there for you. And we're going to go through our trials and tribulations. We are going to be in, in moments of despair. But if we can just hold on, if we can just just hold on for a little bit longer, if we can just look to the Lord and, and focus on Him, He will be there for us and He will rescue us. Psalm 34, 17-20 Yes, the Lord hears the good man when he calls to him for help and saves him out of all his trouble. The Lord is close to those whose hearts are breaking. He rescues those who are humbly sorry for their sins. The good man does not escape all troubles. He has them too. But the Lord helps him in each and every one. God even protects him from accident. Family, this is God's promise to us. We as the good Christians, as, as good family members in Christ, we will be taken care of. We will be looked after. And that is the promise of God. Next one. Thanks, God. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 to 12. But this precious treasure, this light and power that now shine within us, is held in a perishable container that is in our weak body. Everyone can see that the glorious power within us must be from God and it is not our own. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but not crushed and broken. We are perplexed because we don't know why things happen as they do, but we don't give up and quit. We are hunted down, but God never abandons us. We get knocked down, but we get up again and keep going. These bodies of ours are constantly facing death, just as Jesus did. So it is clear to all that it is only the living Christ within who keeps us safe. Yes, we live under constant danger to our lives because we serve the Lord. But this gives us constant opportunities to show forth the power of Christ Jesus within our dying body. Because of our preaching we face death, but it has resulted in eternal life for you. So family, as, as we um, take in the, the, the word, God's word today, we can draw comfort. There is hope for us. There's hope for all of us as we cling to God's word, as we cling to his promises. These times of um, uncertainty and, and despair, um, it, it, it's, going to, it's going to come to an end. It has to come to an end soon. But, but in the meantime, until that time does come, we can look to God and we can hold on to him and he will hold on to us and he'll walk with us on this on this path of sometimes of uncertainty because of what uh, is happening in this world. But we thank the Lord that he is there and that he will help us through. And that is his promise for every single brother and sister in Christ. Let us pray. Loving eternal father. How we need you every minute of the day. May your comforting presence and perfect peace replace 
any moment of despair in our life. When our spirit is downcast and our minds start to overtake our rational thinking, may we rise above our problem. Thank you, Father, that you are the one who goes before us and that you have promised never to leave us. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you all.